In this screencast, I'm going to give an example of manipulating data frames using the applier package in R. Uh, first of all, I'm going to split the data frame into subsets based on columns in the data frame, run functions on each subset, and then collect the results from the functions in the subset. For this example, I'm going to be using the crabs data from the mass package. And uh, this data set contains uh, five morphological measurements of uh, characteristics in crabs. But importantly, it has um, data from two species, uh, blue and orange species, and, male and, and both male and females. So first of all, I want to subset the data by both species and sex. And I'm going to use the plio package for this and the dplyo command which accepts the data set and then the columns that I want to subset the data by and then whatever function I want to call on each subset and here I just want to first print out each subset the first few rows of each subset and here you can see this has done that so I've got the orange males orange females and then the blue males and the blue females and so that's all it took just to subset the data I might want to do a more, uh, more complicated command for example I might want to do linear modelling so I'm going to here do compare claw width with claw length and print that out and here it's done the same thing it's called the linear model uh, function on each subset, so I've got four these return values from uh, <coughs> from that linear modeling. Uh, but that's fine to print it out uh, where it might be useful if you want to plot something. But here I want to now collect some uh, mean values for a ratio of two variables. So here I do mean claw length and claw width but instead of using dplyo I need to use ddplyo which means take a data frame and return a data frame if it was dl it would be take a data frame and return a list but I'm using ddplyo so it should be So that now returns a data frame to me. So again, it's each combination of species and sex, and I've got the ratio of claw length to claw width, and that was relatively easy to get to aggregate all of that data um, frame down into this um, mean value for each combination of species and sex. I can just plot that out now. V1, which is the variable, is it proportional to sex given species and the data I'm using is the returned data. And there you can see females, males, females, males in the blue and orange species. And I managed to do that with just a few lines of code and the prior package.